Next, let's focus on communication styles. Although many variations exist, today we'll focus on the four most common ones. Passive, aggressive, passive-aggressive, and assertive communication. Pay close attention to the following descriptions and assess which one you identify with the most. Again, this exercise isn't about categorizing yourself into a square box. Instead, it's about gaining more self-awareness. Perhaps your communication style tends to lean in a certain direction depending on the situation you're in. Or perhaps it evolves throughout your career. If you're a passive communicator, you generally don't speak up often. Instead, you're happy to go with the flow and support the needs of others. You're very confrontational and may even come as submissive. Your non-verbal communication may include things like crossing your arms or avoiding eye contact. If you have an aggressive communication style, you may often feel very confident in your point of view, to the point where you may not listen to your team's opinions. You may often interject your ideas into a conversation and may sometimes speak over others to get your point across. If you're a passive-aggressive communicator, you may not always feel comfortable saying what you mean. Your verbal and non-verbal communication may not match. For example, you may say you're excited, but display contradictory body language like a frown or slumped shoulders. You may often feel uncomfortable in being direct about your needs or opinions. If you're an assertive communicator, you generally feel comfortable standing up for yourself. You know how to explain and advocate for what you want and the rights of others, such as your team. You may often use hand gestures while communicating, non-verbally to express your point. Next, take a moment to think about the individuals on your team. Can you think about each of their communication styles? Communication is always a two-way street, so being aware of your team's communication styles can help you reflect on what is the best way to interact with each individual. To do this in more detail, I encourage you to go through the handout included in this lesson with them to identify your communication styles together. You'll be surprised at how much more you learn about each other's motivations and behaviors, improving your communication in the process. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we'll discuss the importance of accommodating differences.